It is easy to say, by practice you can conquer the mind. What is the practice? How am I going to practice? What is the first step? What is the second step? Come to the practical level. You are not to preach Vedanta without allowing us to come behind you. Take us by hand. Teach me that practice. Take me to that heights. Please tell me the practical suggestion. Please tell me the way to overcome the mind. Then Krishna says, Abhyasa, and that is to be elaborated by Patanjali. That is to be explained by the system Harshi. That is to be elucidated and further explained by Swami Vivekananda of the recent past. That we shall try to see. It is easy to control a person if you know his character. It is very easy to regulate students if you know their nature. If it, it is very, very simple to make the dog follow you if you know its likes and dislikes. That is to say, know its nature. Bhavasthavara krila sakta, children, are fond of sports, games. The mother knows the technique, gives the balloon, gives the toy, plays with the baby to feed the baby, to draw the attention of the baby. The mother knows the psychology of the children, therefore she is able to feed the children and make them grow well. A good teacher knows the psychology of the college students while teaching physics, while teaching chemistry, while teaching abstract philosophy. Mind goes astray. And suddenly you bring the children to the practical level, students of the college, make a joke. A boy, a girl, she looks at him, he looks at her, they go to Swati Rock and they play. When the incident is explained, the children grow curious and then give a pint of physics, then it will be caught. Know the psychology of the students. Similarly, know the psychology of the wife. You can deal with her better. You can play with her better. You can have her service better. If the husband's psychology is known very, very well, the husband will be made a dog to play according to your shoes. An intelligent wife can make the husband subservient to her, obedient to her. What is the secret? Know the psychology. Psychology of the waters. For five years, the ministers don't care for the public at all. Six months or three months before the elections, they jump into the public, make rhetorical speeches, deliver wonderful goods, and distribute something like chocolates to win the votes. Psychology of the public is to forget the past and gain something to vote for the person. Every day, what is the point? If you want to control the mind, if you want to be free from the mind, if you want to subdue the mind, make it obedient to you, first and foremost, know the nature of the mind. That's what Vyasa says in Mahabharata. The purpose of yoga is to make the mind obedient to us, silence the mind, conquer the mind, mastery over the mind. To do that, what we require is to understand the nature of the mind. What is the nature? Observe the mind, observe the students, observe the wife, Observe the husband, observe the waters, observe the public. First step is sit. 
observed the mind. Then you will be in a position to diagnose. You will be in a position to analyze. You will be in a position to understand the nature of mind. The nature of mind after observation is mind is a monkey. Monkey is a fickle. Mind is a wavering. If you observe a monkey, it will never sit at the same place for two minutes. It will move. It is also the nature of the children. They will never be quiet. They will be moving. If you observe the entire universe, it is never stagnant. You will find that it always moving. It is in a state of flux. Jagat. Jagat means it is in a state of flux always. Movement, movement, movement. This nature of the Jagat is the nature of the child, is the nature of the monkey, is the nature of the mind to move. And this monkey-like mind, child-like mind, moving mind, wavering mind has some more qualities. This monkey mind on the tree of time is seated and somebody has given alcohol to it. It is drunk. It is intoxicated. And an intoxicated man, how he will be? He will be shouting, jumping, dancing, blabbering. All oh, ahankar. Intoxicated with egoism. I, 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 I. Monkey is fickle mind. This monkey or mind has taken the alcohol of egoism, ahankara. And this, the egoistic person's eyes are up, head is up, never looks down. Ahankara makes him walk, blabber, etc. And this monkey mind, after being intoxicated with Ahankara is possessed by the devil. On the tamarind tree it is seated, and on the tamarind tree there is a devil. That devil has possessed this monkey, monkey like mind. That devil is a desire, desire, karma. I want money. I want one more wife. I want one more bungalow. I want to be the Prime Minister. I want to be the Governor. Desire, desire, desire. Building up desire after desire. That is the nature of the monkey mind possessed by the devil of desire. Third, this tamarind tree has a scorpion in its bark. When this monkey is seated in the corner of a branch, a scorpion has bitten it, and that scorpion is a jealousy. It's not enough if I am rich, my neighbor should be poor. It's not enough if I am happy, my neighbor should be sorrowful. It's not enough if I am handsome, all the people around me should be ugly. I go to the class, I wear the white, beautiful, sparkling shirt. Nothing is lacking. My neighbor Benjamin has come. He wears a better shirt, Tinopal shirt, brighter shirt, more attractive shirt. I am unable to tolerate. I am unable to stand. I look at him. I look at this side. I look at him. No concentration in the lesson. And I take the old fountain pen with plenty of ink overflowing in it. I remove the cap, I sprinkle on his back, and now I am cool. <laughs> Jealousy. The monkey has two, three things. Number one, it is monkey memory. Number two, it is intoxicated, intoxicated with the alcohol of egoism, ahankara. Number two, the same monkey which is intoxicated with egoism has 
boundless, infinite, countless desire after desire after desire possessed by the devil. Three, it is beaten with the jealousy. Swami Vivekananda kept the pain of our society is jealousy. You may conquer Kama, Krota, Loba, Moha, Mada, Matsarya is unable to be conquered. Matsarya means jealousy. Yachakashya, Yachakashya true. A Pattu Sari is jealous of another Pattu Sari. One beggar is jealous of another beggar. One Devata is jealous of another Devata. You find Indra jealous. Brahaswati jealous. If you read, read mythology, you, and if you read history, uh, history and mythology are full of stories because of this jealousy. Why we became the slaves of the British? It's not because of the superiority of the Westerner. It is because of the stupidity of the Indians who are jealous of each other. Uh, one king is jealous of another king, the petty quarrels, and they have subdued themselves. And finally submitted to the foreign yoke. The monkey has three qualities in addition to its natural quality of wavering. Four qualities. Wavering mind, intoxicated mind, possessed with the desire, and smitten with jealousy. This is the nature of the mind. How are we to overcome them? How are we to conquer that mind? First, remove that jealousy. How to remove jealousy? Appreciate, love the neighbor, sympathize, serve. When somebody is inferior, when somebody is superior, sum up from, try to shower your affection, feel humble, jealousy is first to be conquered. Otherwise, no yoga vidya is possible. It's only theoretical that we can deliver hundreds of lectures from the platform. Without conquering that jealousy, we can never become Brahmarshis. Vishwamitra has to conquer his jealousy finally. The entire life journey of Vishwamitra indicates that he has been able to conquer all the earlier five Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Mata. But Matsarya is unable to conquer until he submitted himself at the feet of Vasistha. The whole story of Vishwamitra is the story of mankind. And jealousy can be conquered only through humility, only through modesty, only through love, only through service, only through concern. If you go to Swami Shivananda Ashram, you find the Swami is falling at your feet. Namaskar, Namaskar. They don't expect you to Namaskar. They will meet first. Whether it's artificial or sincere, the first approach to overcome jealousy is to render appreciation. Begin to love, begin to praise, begin to admire everybody's talent. Next, the desire. Santustaka satatam naraha bhagavad Krishna himself says, Santustu, enough. Yadrichal abasantustu bhagavan. Today, you have given me the opportunity to express myself before the gathering. Thank you very much. God, you are gracious. I am highly grateful to you. Today, you have given me wonderful breakfast and it is today dosha. Thank you very much. I am very, very happy. Today, I have, you have given me the opportunity to sit in this mandal. Every bit, we must be in a position to appreciate gratefully, thankfully, by doing that, desires will be removed. Yadrucha, whatever comes, accept it. Whatever do you do is offering. Whatever comes as a reaction from above is a blessing. The entire Karma Yoga is our actions are an offering. The reactions are a blessing. And every blessing is bounteous, gracious, 
divine i accept to submit and such a person santushtaha sapatam naraha always blissful always peaceful never greedy no grabbing tendency the second is to be conquered by the attitude of gratefulness to what you get the third one humble ramanuja came from the hills his master said why did you come you could have sent some younger boy some attendant ramanuja said that's what i thought sir i searched everywhere for a smaller person for a younger person for a small attendant i could not find anybody i am the humblest when anjaneya meets ravana he says rama wanted to send the smallest person and that was myself so i came sir humility modesty that does not mean you should not be of confidence confidence is different from over being arrogant i can do it is confidence i can alone do it is arrogance and that is ankara this ahankara is to be removed by submitting to modesty anjaneya wherever you find vandana to everybody that vandana is one of the nine types of devotion suggested by prahala archana vandana smarana there are nine apanivedana is the highest among all the nine steps of devotion vandana is the best even before somebody greets you why don't we greet why don't we submit ahankara can be removed so the three qualities by love by santushti satisfaction contentment and by modesty humility you overcome but still the last one is my is gathering in nature it is sitting on the huge tree of time monkey's nature man's nature mind's nature is to go up to the future to go down to the past to wander about elsewhere not in the place of work now we are seated in mangal mandir our minds younger boys and younger girls will fly to the future after the class i have asked the girl to come to this swati rock i go there she comes there she will bring rasgulla i will bring gulab jam she keeps the rasgulla into my mouth i bite half of it the other half i put in her mouth he is thinking of 8 o'clock or 8:30 at swati rock with his girlfriend he jumps to the future never do you find a young boy or girl remembering the past the flight to the future i become an ias i become an ips i become the governor i become the husband of miss universe this is how the flight of imagination old people like me driven away by the sons scolded by the daughters in law thrown away by the wife no place to go we come to prashant kutir at least here nagaratna devi is giving us food i was driven away by my by past scolded by my son past beaten by my daughter in law past i go back to the past and sitting here elsewhere it is near 8 o'clock the man is not at leaving he mess may be meeting today whether it is upma or pongal mind is not here three ways mind's nature monkey's nature to go up to the future to go down to the past to wander about arrest it control it how with a firm hand look at it when the snake comes the man engages it 
with the Nagaswara, Nagaswara, the snake will be looking, looking, looking. Focus the torch, it cannot move this side and that side. Have a rod before the baby, don't move. Firm hand, that is Raj Yoga. The snake cannot move because of the Nagaswara attraction. It cannot move because of the focus light on its face, on its eyes. The child or dog cannot move because you have the rod in hand. That's Raj Yoga, willpower. Yesterday, just three days ago, 72 hours ago, I came from Hyderabad to Bangalore. The train stopped on platform number five. Platform number six, five, they have a foot over bridge to come out. Two trains have come, thousand people from that train, from people from this train, two thousand people on the platform and the narrow foot over bridge. People were climbing. I'm an old man with a briefcase and a shoulder bag. I was trying to climb up the staircase. It is fully crowded. Ahead of me, about 20, 30 steps, there is a beautiful, lightning like, slim, smart, young girl flying. When there is a female dog, there will be male dogs behind. There was another road Romeo behind me in jeans. The fellow is trying to chase her. In between them, in the crowd, I was an obstruction to him. He came, put his left hand on my right shoulder, pushed me to the side, and called me, you old idiot, and went up. I looked at him, looked at the girl, looked at the boy. Fifty years ago, I was also like you, my boy, I thought. The fellow chased him. I came out. In front of the railway station from Prashant, the car has come, a good student came. He touched my feet, took my luggage, put me in the car, brought me here. He touched my feet, he respected me, he garlanded me, he served me. Now two things happened 72 years ago. One, somebody called me, you old idiot. Another person touched my feet. What do I remember? 72 hours. He called me idiot. He called me idiot. He called me idiot. My mind is disturbed. I remember the past. In the past, I remember the negative past. I remember the harmful past. I remember the insulting past. I remember the bad past. If at all you are unable to forget the past, why, why don't you remember the positive past? One boy touched my feet. Another unknown idiot called me an idiot. Why do you remember that? Train up Abhyasena to come there. First of all, don't go to the past. If it is unavoidable, remember that happy past. Mata Amrutanandama is a divine lady, a pious lady, a pure lady. She is walking, I go there to take classes to Brahmacharis now and then. We both were walking in the veranda. One Brahmachari was seated, young man. He was dull, dull, depressed, dejected, very sorrowful. Amma asked him, what is wrong with you, my boy? Ma, tell me. That fellow, who is that fellow? Some senior brahmachari. Do you know him? No. Do you love him? No. Does he know you? No. Does he love you? No. What happened? He called me a dog. Then Amma said, Do you know me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes. Do I love you? Yes. Every day I hug you, kiss you, fondle you, Call you my gold, jewel, etc. That fellow called you dog. I embrace you as God. You are not a dog. Do you have four legs? Do you have a tail? What he says is a lie. 
untrue. He does not know you. You do not know him. But you remember that God. You don't remember my loving God. Human nature. Remember the past. If at all it is to be remembered. But the positive past. Train abhyas in the count there. Similarly, future. And going to Delhi today. The road will be packed because the Prime Minister is visiting. I will be crossing the road. Inadvertently a motorbike will come. I fall under the wheels. I will be taken to the hospital. My identity card will be lost on the road. How can my wife be communicated? How can my son be informed? I am going to be admitted in the hospital today in the night. Old people. Future imagination is about death and tragic death. Death I am prepared to accept. How do I die? This is the haunting thought of the old people. Positive. Today I am going. The road will be back. Sonia Gandhi will be coming. The road is controlled. I stand on the pavement. Sonia's car, his car comes, she looks at me, asks the driver to stop. The car comes to a screeching halt. She opens the door, comes to me, Sir, you here in Bangalore? When Raji was alive, you were coming to Delhi, I was serving you tea. You were responsible for introducing value education in colleges and universities. Is you are responsible for changing the Ministry of Education into Human Resources, uh, HRD Ministry. You are responsible for introducing autonomous colleges in the country. How is it now you are standing like an unrecognized man on the platform? Come, sir, we shall go to the circuit house, sir. We shall think of a plan to bring the project party down, sir. We must once again come to power, sir. She will say today in the evening. Does it happen? No. Does that fall will happen? No. If hopes are jewels, fears are liars. Hope is in future. Fear is in future. Don't have hope. If at all it is unavoidable, build the mind with full of positive hopes and feel. Lord Vishnu, Sri Krishna, with a peacock feathers, with a smiling lips, with the Radha by his side. You can imagine, fly in your future imagination. And finally present, we are here in Mandir Mandir. Some person is speaking, let us see the fun, look at him. Engage yourself in the present activity on hand with concentration and commitment and the mind is controlled. Don't go to the future. If at all it is unavoidable, go to the positive future. Don't go to the past. If it is unavoidable, go to the happy past. Don't allow the mind to wander about. Think of the work on hand. These are some of the ways, some of the practical ways innumerable. Let us bestow attention. What is the nature of mind analyze? Understand its nature. And then one by one, one by one, as a student preparing for the examination, what is the psychology of the examiner? Large number of sheets. Write as many sheets as possible. No omission of any question. Attempt all the questions. And what is it you write? Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Govinda, Hare Ram, Shivai, Om Nam Shivai. Go on writing, writing, writing. If the examiner is busy quarreling with his wife or sipping the coffee, he will not look into the details of the answer script. He will put tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, and he will get the marks. Nature of the examiner. Everywhere, what is the nature of the boss? What is the nature of the society? What is the nature of the mind? Understand its nature. Adjust to that nature. 
conquered that nature and mind is our control subservient slave by the grace of god almighty let us contemplate look at sri krishna kasturi tilakam lalaat halaki वक्षस्थले कौस्तुभम सर्वांगे हरिचंदन कृष्ण वासुदेव ब्रैट बीमिंग स्मिंग लिप्स ऑफ लाड कृष्ण Oh, oh, oh. 